President Biden's impeachable call just got worse, Republicans are ordering Joe to open up his closet. What's happening? The MSM might want to ignore what's going on in Afghanistan, but it doesn't look like this crisis is going away anytime soon. In the aftermath of Biden's withdrawal and botched evacuation, we learned something shocking. Months ago, Biden claimed there was no way the Taliban would take over the country. Was he just wrong? Was he working off of faulty intel? We now know he heard from the Afghan president directly that the Taliban had 15,000 troops ready to invade. That raises some serious questions about Biden's ultimate decision to withdraw. Now, Republicans are demanding answers. From the Epoch Times. A group of Republican lawmakers on Thursday sent a letter to President Joe Biden, urging him to release a full, unedited, and unredacted transcript from his July phone call with exiled Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani. The contrast between your administration's official spin and the reality on the ground revealed a bewildering lack of coherence, strategy, and fundamental transparency, the letter, obtained by the Daily Caller, reads. Republicans are demanding the full transcript of the July 23 call between Joe Biden and the President of Afghanistan. That partial transcript that was leaked revealed Ghani warned Biden that the Taliban was mobilizing, with support from various radical groups. Biden, in response, told Ghani to change the perception of Afghanistan to the world. It does not seem that Biden had any real plans to oppose the Taliban's imminent invasion. Republican lawmakers are accusing Biden of a deliberate effort to conceal the truth of what he knew about Afghanistan. They even accuse him of trying to mislead the American public. If that turns out to be true, the impeachment case will gain sudden and serious steam. Constitutional experts like Alan Dershowitz claimed that Republicans had no grounds to impeach Biden over the fall of Afghanistan. But if this transcript proves that Biden knowingly lied to the American public? That could be considered treason or perhaps high crimes and misdemeanors against the country. We do know that Biden gave lists of names of Americans to the Taliban. Some have accused the administration of aiding our enemies with this act. No matter how you slice it, this situation is growing into not just a crisis, but a possible scandal for the administration. Which means, of course, Biden will do everything he can to avoid giving the transcript.